Hi friends, during the shopping at the AliExpress, the site recommended me to buy a die kit. At first I didn't pay attention, but later something seemed interesting to me in this a lot. A kit included just a few details, but it cost almost four dollars. A cursory examination showed that this is quite an interesting thing, on the basis of which it is possible to build a relatively smart lighting device. For example, we can make a portable lamp in which the battery will be charged in the daytime and at night the circuit will automatically turn on the lighting element, in this case, the LEDs. Naturally, you can buy a ready-made lamp that will work exactly according to this principle or a lamp with a motion sensor. By the way, one works in my courtyard for almost a year, but we weren't looking for easy ways. In addition, a couple of components that are needed for assembly will cost much less than a ready lamp. So, it was decided to copy the circuit from the side, or rather just the PCB tracing. On the seller's website were detailed photos of the printed circuit board. Everything you see later in the civilized world is called plagiarism. On the other hand, Chinese manufacturers borrow ideas and circuits from independent authors. Why not to do the same? Factory printed circuit boards from the leading manufacturers on the market. The GLCPCB website gives you the possibility to quickly order any number of high-quality PCBs for your files in Gerber format. Download the file, select the desired options, and that's all. They offer ultra-low-cost boards starting from $2 for 10 pieces and free delivery at the first order. A link to GLCPCB can be found in the description. Let's start. For this, we need only two programs, the well-known Paint, and the program for creating printed circuit boards, Sprint Layout. Let's go!
I quickly sketch the outline and that's how it looks. It works very simply. When the sun is shining, the solar panel produces a certain voltage. The voltage is limited by the resistor R1 and goes to the base of the transistor. As a result, it fully opens. The resistor R3 and the open transition of the transistor VT1 form a kind of voltage divider. Through the open transistor VT1, the base of the transistor VT2 is shunted to the ground, thus ensuring a reliable closing of the transistor VT2. In the evening the following occurs. If the voltage produced by the panel is less than the voltage of the unlocking of silicon transistors, which is about 0.7 volts, the transistor VT1 will close. In this case, the current from the positive pole of the lithium battery through the resistor R3 will flow to the base of the transistor VT2 and it will instantly work. The load is connected to the collector circuit of VT2 across self-resetting fuse. In our case, the loads are the LEDs. Charging of the battery is even easier. On silicon rectifier diode, a voltage drop of approximately 0.7 volt is formed. So, through it, the lithium battery should be charged to a voltage of 4.3 volts, but only if the solar battery generates exactly 5 volts. This method of charging is the simplest, but the worst, so it is necessary to use a battery with a protection board to disconnect it when the voltage reaches 4.2 volts. That simple method could be used only if a weak solar panel is connected to the circuit, which produces a negligible current, then everything will work in a more or less safe way. Well, at the Chinese photos was shown exactly such a small panel. Another drawback is the lack of adjustment of the circuit. It will only work when the battery voltage is insufficient to unlock the first transistor. But what if you need to adjust the circuit so that it works even before sunset? This problem can be solved simply by adding a resistor between the base of the first transistor and the ground. So we get a voltage divider with which the mixing voltage is set. And by replacing this resistor with a variable, it will be possible to tune the circuit to any lighting. The load is switched by a second transistor whose collector current is 500 mA. Taking into account the supply voltage of about 3.7 volts, to this circuit is possible to connect loads with a power of up to 1.8 watts. This is quite enough for lighting small rooms, garden pads and so on. But if this is not enough, you can replace this transistor with a more powerful one, for example, a BD139. In this case, the load power can be increased to 5.5 watts. In addition, I want to say that the price of the kit was artificially increased by the Chinese manufacturer. For example, here is meaningless to use a powerful diode at the input. Cheap 1 ampere diode 1 and 4007 is enough. And there is no point in using a self-resetting fuse. Sufficient is a 10 ohm resistor, which will limit the output current and protect the circuit in case of short circuit. That's all friends. If you like the video, you can rate it and share with your friends in social networks. If you like electronics, then I advise you to subscribe to the official group of channel. The link will be found in the description. There is also a link to an archive of the circuit and PCB for this simple but very useful device. Now I have to say goodbye until new meetings with you was Kassian TV.